you doing? Hope you're okay. Um, it's a lovely sunny day here, so I hope the weather's been kind to you as well. Has anyone been up to anything exciting? Drop me a comment if you've been doing anything fun this morning. Like to know. Um, I'm just, oh look, there's a fly joining me today, flying around. You obviously can't see the fly, but he's here joining me today, the little fly. Um, so I'm just going to give everybody a couple of minutes to get me where you want me on your screen, your small screen, your big screen, wherever suits you, make sure everything's working, make sure that I can see all of the comments that are coming up as well. Here's my little boy, do you want to say hello Tom today? No? Yeah, say hello, hello. to everybody then. Hello, hello, hello everybody. Hello. Are you joining in today or are you going for a walk with Daddy? All right then, okay sweetheart. Say bye. 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 <laughs> That's my little boy. <laughs> so I'm just going to make sure that I can see your comments on here. There we go, no problem. Oop. Jellyfish just fell on the floor then as well. Fab Susie Crago, hello. Hi, I can see your comments. Hello. Oh, I can see them on my screen. We are cooking on gas today. So. I'm going to just run through quickly now what you need so you can double check you've got everything that you need um, give you a few minutes if there's that odd thing you might have forgotten. So you will need to make your homemade clay which is super exciting. You will need a bowl, you will need a tablespoon which is the big spoon and you will need a teaspoon which is the little spoon my mum's watching hi mum hope you're okay and and sangeet hi hi oh i need to i can't read that on there very well oh, comments. Go. there with me so hi to a new hi hello there so we need a bowl we need a tablespoon we need a teaspoon we need some PVA glue, so any PVA glue, I get mine in pound land, it's a pound bottle. Um, you will need some corn flour, so from your supermarket, you will need some vegetable or sunflower oil, not this much, you don't need this much, you only need a teaspoon of it. Um, and you will also need some paint to paint your clay once it's dry and you will also need or you can have you don't need these but if you have them you can do some extra decoration and um, if you've got some sequins or some googly eyes or anything pretty and sparkly that you might want to put on your clay once it's made so we've got a few people watching and um, i will introduce who i am so my name is creative clara hello some of you might know me some of you might have been to see me um, in Roleplay Lane or oh, way back when I was allowed to actually see you all in person. So that would have been in February or March. Um, and for those of you who don't know me who have never done one of my sessions before, it's lovely to meet you. It's lovely that you've joined me today. Thank you. Hi there. Um, so if you've done my sessions before, then you will know that there are three really really important rules that you have to follow before we can make anything so if you know them shout them out with me okay if not put your best listening ears on okay and listen very very carefully okay and these rules are for grown-ups as well as for children okay so our first rule is don't worry if you get messy getting messy is fun it's fab fab if you come see me obviously normally you would get messy wherever i am but you have to get messy in your homes today okay and the second rule is don't worry if you make a mistake so it doesn't matter if you make a mistake sometimes we can fix your mistakes Sometimes your mistake might actually make something better or we can just learn from them and do it a little bit better next time. So make, don't worry if you make a mistake, okay? And now the third and the most important rule is make sure that you have lots and lots and lots of fun. That's the most 
most important one, guys. I'm just going to come around to the front of my screen, have a little look at my comments. So just make sure you've got everything you need to get ready. Just going to make sure these are working. So let's have a little look. Comments. Da, 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 da. There we go. Well done there. Fabulous. So could somebody do me a little favour? Actually, Mum, can you do me a little favour and can you send me a comment now just so that I know that I'm seeing them? Oh, hello. Hello, Samuel and Joseph. How many people is 150? Oh, um, Hina, the 150 gram measurement is for one child, okay? Oh, hello to Poppy and Elena. Thank you for joining me today. Hope you're going to have lots and lots of fun. And hello to Hannah, Andrew and Tamara. Hope you're okay. And oh, hello to Nirvana and Naya Lily and Tilly May. Hope you're all okay. Thank you for joining me again. All the way from Harrow, I believe, if I remember rightly. And Joseph and Samuel are getting messy in Nana's house. Good idea, Joe. Good idea. And Grace and Sarah. Hello, Grace and Sarah. Hope you're okay. So I'm going to keep popping to my comments just to say little hellos and see how you're all getting on, okay? I don't have the best eyesight, so I can't see my computer that well. That's why I have to come a little bit closer to you. So let's get cracking. So grab your bowls. Get your bowls ready, everybody. And we are going to do some counting. Oh, just before I start my counting, because I don't want to forget, because this is very, very important. I would like to say a massive, massive, big, big happy birthday to Hope and Gracie, because they are doing my session tomorrow because they couldn't make it today. So happy birthday, Hope, and happy birthday, Gracie. Um, and hello to Harriet as well. It's not your birthday, but hello to Harriet as well. Right. And I also want to say a big hello to Charlotte. Hi, Charlotte. And a big hello to Luke as well, because they're also doing my session tomorrow. So let's get cracking. You need to grab your bowl and we are going to do some measuring. So we need to start off with our tablespoon. So our tablespoon is the big spoon. OK, so you need your big spoon and you need to get your corn flour and you need to have five tablespoons of corn flour, okay? So one, two, three, four, five. We'll count them together, all right? If you bought the craft packs from me, um, if I've delivered you a craft pack, okay, you should have around about eight tablespoons in your little pots. Um, still scoop them out in tablespoons. Don't tip them in because you'll need a little bit of a corn flour for afterwards, okay? So are we ready? Ready to do some counting? Let's get going. So you have got one and two and three and four and the last one is number five so you've got your five tablespoons of corn flour in there which is approximately a hundred grams of corn flour okay approximately now the next thing you need to do is grab your glue okay so you need your glue if you bought one of the packs off me your glue has already got the oil in okay so give your glue a little mix up okay and then when we go on to the next bit to add the oil don't worry about adding it okay so the next thing we need to do is measure out two table sorry three tablespoons whoops it doesn't matter if we make mistakes we can just fix them you need three tablespoons of your glue okay so if you can do it with both your hands that's fab or if you want your grown-up to hold your spoon or if you want your grown-up to pour your glue whichever is easiest for you so are we ready number one bloop, 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 bloop. make the noises if you want make the glue noises two next two going in there as well and your next one 
and three. So three tablespoons of your glue, like that. All in there, all fab, looking a bit sticky and messy now. It'll get messier, don't you worry. <laughs> Now, the last thing you need to add to make your clay is you need your small spoon, so your teaspoon, and you need to add some oil, so vegetable oil or sunflower oil, and you just need to add one teaspoon of your oil. Again, if you've got craft packs, skip out this bit because your glue will already have the oil in it, okay? It'll already have the oil in it, you just need to give it a mix. So, we've got five tablespoons of corn flour, we've got three tablespoons of PVA glue, and we've got one small teaspoon of oil. And now we need to give it a bit of a mix. So, grab your big tablespoon and start mixing your ingredients up into your bowl. Nice and slowly, nice and gently, and you'll see it will start coming together. I'm going to pop and have a little look at my comments again, see how everybody's doing. Let's have a little look. So keep mixing. You'll notice it might start sticking together. Okay. So Amy. So hi, ma'am. Hi, ma'am. Thank you. I can see my comments. Thank you, ma'am. Fabulous. So let's stir, start stirring all of your things together like this. And you should see it might start sticking together a little bit. So once you've started stirring it together a little bit, you just need to pop your spoon to one side and then you need to put your hands in. OK, this is the most fun bit so start to get your hands in there it might feel a little bit warm okay and that's fine it should feel a tiny bit warm and what we're doing is we're squeezing it together okay so this is really good to get all your fingers moving so the stronger your hands and fingers are the better you'll be at holding your pens and pencils and the better you will be at writing <laughs> no worries Amy I did wonder so, start squeezing together, squeezing together. So, if yours is not coming together very well, okay, or if it's really, really sticky, so if it's not sticking together very well, just add the tiniest, tiniest little bit of glue, okay, about a teaspoonful of glue. If you're finding that it's really, really sticky, just add a tiny little bit more corn flour, okay? So I'm finding that mine's a little bit crumbly, so I'm just going to add one teaspoon of PVA, okay? You might have slightly crumblier, slightly stickier, depending on your measuring. So I'm just going to put one more teaspoon of PVA. You don't want it too sticky. You do want it to stay quite dry, okay? So who's got who's got sticky hands? Who's starting to get messy hands? Just put your hands up in the air and see how messy they are. Ugh, look at that. So we're squeezing, we're squeezing it together. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So we're making clay today. We keep on squeezing. So, what is clay? Well, clay is actually a type of soil. It's a type of dirt, but it's not like the dirt, the soily dirt that you get in your garden or that you plant your plants in. It's a slightly different type of dirt. It's a special kind of dirt that we get it in our country. So, it's a dirt is clay. And I wonder if anyone can think of any things that are made of clay. Can anyone think of anything that's made of clay? I'll give you a few minutes, pop them into the comments if you can think of anything that's made of clay. Have a little think. Right, so you should have your clay like this. So pop out your bowl and as long as it's sticking together, we're going to put it onto the table and then what we're going to do is we're going to knead our clay, okay? So we're going to push it down. You might get your strong grown-ups can help you with this as well. So we're pushing it together. If it's a bit crumbly, just pop a bit more glue in. If it is a bit sticky, then you just need to sprinkle 
sprinkle a little bit more cornflour, okay? So let's press together, get it all pressing in together. And what we want to end up with is a nice big ball of clay. So I'm going to leave you to do a bit of kneading and I'm going to have another little look, see if anybody's come up with any fantastic ideas of what is made from clay. I do apologise for the backwards and forwards. I would normally be able to see your comments on my phone, but for some reason today, I can't. So I'm moving backwards and forwards so you can see them. So what we're aiming for is a ball of clay like this and some very sticky, dirty hands as well. Look at that. Look at me. Oh, um, we, you need one teaspoon of oil, okay, Hina? Just one teaspoon of oil. If you're finding it's not sticky enough, then add some extra PVA. Um, if you're finding that it's too dry, uh, too sticky, add some extra corn flour. So this is where I get sticky all over my laptop. Look at my hands. Are anybody else's hands like this as well? Yeah. But it doesn't matter because... One of our rules is don't worry if you get messy. Okay, so how's your kneading doing? No, nobody's given, nobody's got any, nobody's given me any ideas yet of what they think is made of clay. So clay has been around for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. And some things that are made of clay are, you've got plates, you get plates, you get vases, you get cups, um, and you also can make bricks out of clay. So you can build houses out of clay. And this one's super interesting. Another thing that they used to make out of clay, before paper was invented, they used to make big slabs out of clay so that you could write on them. Isn't that interesting? I thought that was interesting. So you have got your clay. You have got your dirty hands. If you want to take two seconds just to go give your hands a wash, if you've got some nice balls of clay, and then we will have a little look at you're still working on it, Joe, are you? Oh, pottery. Thank you, Hina, pottery. I think I'm a little bit in front on my video feed than some of you guys. Pots. Thank you, pots. Fantastic. Ah, there we go. You do know. I knew you knew. I knew you had some ideas, guys, of what was made from clay. Fantastic. You're still working on it, Joseph and Samuel. are still working on their clay. It's still doing your kneading. Still getting your hands working, still working all those muscles in your arm and kneading your clay. So we should have a ball of clay now. Is everybody clean? Does everybody have a ball of clay? Okay, so the next thing we are going to do is look at a few different things that we can make from our clay. So you can make whatever you want from your clay. These little things that I'm going to show you are just some ideas of what you can make. But they're nice little ideas. So if you want to watch them and then decide afterwards what you want to make, or if you want to make one along with me, it's completely up to you. So the first thing we are going to make are some clay fish. Can you be a fish? Who wants to do a swimming fish? It's my fish there. And like a fish, I'm going to have a little drink of water at the moment. There we go. So these are our fish here. So we've got a lovely colourful fish there. We've got one there that I haven't painted yet. He's waiting to be painted. So for our fish, I'm going to move my computer closer so that you can see what I'm doing with my clay making. So for your fish, you will need to take a, about half of your clay, okay? So cut it in half, you'll need about half of your clay. And then if you push it down into a circle shape onto the table or whatever it is you're using, 
Okay, so you have this kind of shape here, and then you need to pinch at the end of your little fish, make a little pinch, so you've got this shape, so you've got that kind of shape there, and then where you pinched it, flatten it out to make a fishy tail. Pinch it in and flatten it out, and you have your fish. And did you know there are over 300,000 different types of fish? More than 300,000 different types of fish. What about fish? Hey, can anyone name any fish for me? I love fish. I used to go fishing when I was a little girl with my dad. Hi, dad, if you're there, say hello to dad for me, mum. Um, and I can name lots of different fish like carp and salmon and trout and pike. Um, and there are fish that live in the oceans in salt water. Um, so there's angel fish, there's garamis, there's neons, there's manta rays, lots and lots and lots of different fish. And the stove things are called, oh, Grace, thank you, Grace. That is fab. That's a super fact. Grace says that the stone things that you write on are called tablets. Fantastic. Not like the tablets we play our computer games on, though. I don't think. Proper old-fashioned writing things called tablets. Thank you, Grace. <laughs> so we should have our fishy shape. There they are, there's our fish. So what you can do now is make some patterns on your fish if you want to. So there's a few different ways that you can do this. One of the simplest ways you can make a pattern on your fish is to get the lid of a felt tip pen and you can just pop the lid in like this and you will start to get a scale pattern on your fish. There we go. Can you see that it's getting a scale pattern on? And then when this dries and you paint over it, you will get this lovely, lovely scale effect on your fishies. You see that there? A shark! Wow! Yes, sharks are a type of fish. Nemo! Oh, I love Nemo. Nemo's a clownfish. And he lives in a poisonous anemone, does Nemo. They're a special type of fish and the only types of fish that can live in this type of anemone, which keeps them nice and safe. So there are the scales on your fish. OK, you can also, if you have them, but don't worry if you don't have them, you can pop a googly eye on your fish. So shall I have, I might give this one a nice big googly eye like that. Push it in to your clay. There we go. It's got a big googly eye. And if you've got any sequins or sparkles, you can pop some sequins on for your scales as well. Push them in hard. Push them in at the edges to make your scales. And there we go. One like that. And these will dry into your clay and turn into sparkly little fish scales. There we go. So we've got our little fish there. So that's one of the things that we can make with our clay. Now, another thing that we can make with our clay is a little bowl. So me and my little boy made one of these. So here is the little bowl that we made and you can use this for all sorts of things they're quite nice to give as little presents as well to people so you again need to roll your clay into a circle so with your hands roll squeeze and roll squeeze and roll squeeze and roll squeeze and roll oh hi Anna hello Anna hope you're okay oh so glad you can join me hello so we're rolling into a ball like this Okay, like so, and then to make, I am making a mess. I'm having so much fun making a mess. I love making a mess. I really do. Ask anyone who knows me. I love making a mess. Ask my husband. It drives him bonkers, everybody. So you've got your circle like this. Then you need to get your thumb or your finger and press it into the middle of your circle. So you've got a hole in the top 
Can you see that? I'm not sure you can see that there. Oh, there's a hole in the top. And then these are called pinch pots. So you basically need to pinch around. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Pinch all the clay together. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Pinch, pinch, pinch. I'm just going to say a quick hello to um, Reese and Billy and Evie as well, because um, I delivered some packs to you yesterday. I've not seen your names on there. Um, so I really hope that you've managed to find me and that you're watching me, OK? So hello to you guys. I hope you're watching. So pinch, 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 pinch. Mine's a teeny tiny little ball. That's cute. So pinch, pinch, pinch. And then you have your pinch pot. Look at that. So you've got your little bowl, and once it's dried, you can paint it whatever colours you want. You can paint it one colour, wait for the paint to dry, and then paint spots or stripes or something on it if you'd like to do it that way. So there is your little pinch pot like that. My mum says that it's looking messy. My mum will know more than anybody how much I like to make a mess. So the last thing I'm going to show you how to make is a rainbow. So we've probably all had rainbows up in our houses for a very long time at the moment. They've become a very special symbol for us about hope and about staying safe. So I'm going to show you how to make a little rainbow as well. So you grab, you probably won't be able to make all of these things with your one piece of clay that we've made today. But you should be able to make at least two things. So, I've got some more clay by here. And for the rainbow, let me show you this rainbow now that we're going to make. Here's our rainbow here. There we go. And for the rainbow, we need to make snakes. So, we're going to roll out some, some sausages. So... We're going to roll out some sausages with our clay. Roll, 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 roll. Squeeze and roll and squeeze and roll. This piece of clay is a bit dry because I've made it this morning. So, roll, roll, roll. Roll, 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 roll. And then, once we've made a sausage, this is going to become one of the colours of our rainbow. And roll, 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 roll it all the way out. There we go. And you will need something which is a circle shape. So you can use a cup or a bowl, or if you want to make a tiny little rainbow, you can make a you can use a bottle top, so like off one of your drinks bottles. I'm just gonna use this because I've got this here at the moment, so that's why I keep my sequins in. And then you just need to wrap that around your circular shape like that and that's one colour of the rainbow and then you just keep going make another sausage and wrap it around again make another sausage and wrap it around again until you've got how many colours of a rainbow you have got seven colours in your rainbow until you've got seven of these sausages wrapped all the way around to make a rainbow I'm not going to do all seven of them now okay so that's some ideas of what you can do with your clay. So hopefully you'll make some of those. Or if you've got any fantastic ideas of your own, then just create whatever you fancy. There's one little boy who I think was going to make something to do with superheroes. So that would be great if you've managed to make something to do with superheroes, if you wanted to show me. Um, and I just want to say, before I go, a few things. So... I want to say, first of all, a massive, massive big thank you to you all, to everybody who um, watches me when I come on here, and to people who've watched me a few times, it means a lot that you come back and you watch me again, basically. Um, so a big, big thank you guys for just spending some time with me this afternoon. It does mean a lot to me. My free, oh wow, my Vic, hiya. Our three-year-old is making a police manta ray with a flashy siren and robot legs. Oh my goodness, that sounds fantastic. If you have a picture of that to send to me, I would absolutely love to see that, please. That would be super duper. Wow. So, yeah, thank you so much to... I'm having trouble playing this video.
So, my computer says we're having trouble playing this video. I'm going to carry on recording without a picture, so hopefully you will be able to see me. Um, if not, then um, I do send my biggest apologies. I'll put a um, the end of the video onto the event page afterwards. But just a few little things that I wanted to mention. So thank you very much to everyone who's joined me. Um, if you do want to share your pictures with me, that would be amazing. Um, and I'm just going to send my mum a message to see if she can still see me. So the other thing that I want to talk about before I go, and again, I hope people see me talking about this, is I'm setting up a summer club. So I will be still with you um, over the summer on a Friday. Um, so I will stu still do my sessions on a Friday. But my summer club will provide you with all the materials that you will need to do my four live sessions um, for four weeks in August. Um, I will also create a private group as well, which you'll have access to. All the materials will be posted out to you, so there's no limit on where you live. As long as you are a UK resident, you will get your materials. Um, in the private group, there'll be a few extra little activities. Um, oh, thank you. Hello, Aaron and Christopher. Thank you. If you can still see me. I don't know which part of you of me you can see, guys, because I can't see myself anymore. <laughs> So, um, yeah, with my summer club, you will have a private group where I'll post a few little activities. We might have a Zoom group, Zoom, Zoom session on there as well. Um, and I wanted to put this together um, just so that, so that we can sort of have fun together during the summer whilst you're not in school. Um, the one thing which is different and something which, if I could avoid it with all my heart, I mean this, um, is I will charge for it. So I've kept my costs down as low as I possibly can and it's going to be £25 for everything including postage and packaging, all the materials you need, um, membership of a new group, um, so more information, what we'll be crafting, um, what you'll get, everything I'm going to post on the weekend. Um, if you would like more information um, and you happen to miss my post or anything like that, pop me a message with your email on and I'll send you some information out in an email. It'll just be an email about the club. It won't be anything else. I won't use your email for anything else, I promise you. So, yeah, that's me. I um, hope you've had a really good time. Um, don't forget to send me some pictures of your fantastic creations. And I look forward to not seeing you, but I look forward to joining some of you um, next Friday for my session next week, which I think we're going to do some foil art. So we're going to do some foil art next week. Okay, take care, everybody. Have a good afternoon. Take care. Bye-bye.